Hi everyone, this is Brittany Pollock from the Modern Stoicism team, inviting you to join us for Stoic Week in October 2022. This is the 10th anniversary year of Modern Stoicism and Stoic Week, and we're still going strong, better than ever. Every year, thousands of people participate in Modern Stoicism activities, from Stoic Week to Stoicon to reading our excellent Stoicism Today blog. And I invite you to join us and take advantage of this worldwide community to help support your Stoic studies. When we come together and work with other people in the context of a course and a community of practice, it really helps us to advance in our knowledge and develop in our practice in ways that we might not be able to do just on our own. So please take advantage of all the learning resources Modern Stoicism offers and join us this October 2022 for Stoic Week. Hi, my name is John Sellers, and I'm just going to say a few words about Stoic Week. Um, we've been running Stoic Week for 10 years now, and I was there at the beginning when we first set this up with um, Donald Robertson, um, Tim LeBon, uh, Christopher Gill, and many others. Um, I remember right at the beginning of the process, Donald and I sitting down and writing one of the early versions of Stoic Week Handbook, and we had no idea how this was going to be received. We didn't know what the results were going to be. We were quietly confident that people would find stoic advice helpful, but we didn't know by how much. Um, and we've been really impressed with the results that we've had over the years. Um, we've developed the material that we offer. Um, as I say, Donald and I developed an early version. Um, Chris revised that very thoroughly for a couple of years. And now Stoic Week is being run by the very capable hands of Eve Riches and Tim. Le bon. um, and what we found over a number of years are the same consistent results, which is really interesting. We've seen an increase in general life satisfaction of between 10 and 15 percent, uh, roughly. Um, and we've seen a reduction in negative emotions by the, roughly the same amount after following stoic advice for just seven days. That's really quite impressive. Um, and the consistency of the results is impressive too. And some of the narrative comments we've had from participants have been really um, impressive and quite touching. People have commented on how it's enabled them to cope with difficult emotions, cope with challenging life situations they've been going through, deal with anxiety. One person commented that they were simply amazed how much this had changed their life. So please do sign up for Stoic Week and see what impact it might have on your life. Hi, I'm Andy Shaka, and I am a member of the Modern Stoicism team, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what participating in Stoic Week has done for me. Um, I really enjoy the opportunity to connect with people around the world, to share thoughts around Stoic practice. I've personally benefited from the lessons, from the forums, from the ability to do some of the reflections. I find that every year when I participate, I'm able to go a little deeper into something that maybe I just started to explore the previous year. Um, it's great to see people coming back, uh, to meet new friends and old in the space, and I hope that you join us. Hello, my name's Tim LeBon, and I'm co-facilitating Stoic Week this year with Eve Riches. And uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the research part of Stoic Week, because in Stoic Week, you learn about Stoicism. You also get to find out whether Stoicism helps you. And to do that, you fill in some questionnaires at the beginning and the end. And so what did we find out last year when we ran Stoic Week? So that's all the reports you can read if you want at modern stoicism slash research. Last year, uh, we found out that if you did, for those people that took part, in general, they had a, quite a substantial increase in their well being after being stoic for just a week. And as well as looking into how much stoicism helps, we can also find out some other things, such as the question is stoicism modern stoicism with a capital s the same as the stiff upper lip you know grinning and bearing it which is stoicism with a small case s now we don't think it is the same uh, real stoicism is all about controlling the controllables 
It's about managing emotion well, well, not getting rid of emotions. And it's about uh, cultivating the virtues of wisdom, courage, self-control and justice. So we didn't think they had anything to do with each other, but we did some research that found out whether that was the case. And what we found out was that these two things were actually negatively associated with each other and that people by cultivating real stoicism actually had less of this kind of stiff upper lip and repressing emotions. So if that makes you all the more interested to live like a stoic for a week, then uh, Eve Riches and I would be delighted if you could join us. Uh, October the 24th it starts, but you can sign up right now and that's by going to modern stoicism slash stoic week. So really hope that uh, you can join us and uh, live like a stoic for a week.